Alright people, welcome back to our next video. Alright guys, so I'll be doing some dual booting installation guides for you guys. So I'll be showing you guys how to dual boot Windows and also Bazaar. Um, Steam OS right now is not really, it's it's not ready. Bazaar is working, also Steam OS is also working. But um, I'm going to try and do Bazaar for now and see if I can get it up and running. And then I'll also do the process so you guys can see what's going on and see how the process works right if you want to do it as well but i've seen some people doing it and it actually works on their device and the games and everything is up and running for their device guys all right so what you're going to need for this installation you're going to need a memory stick at least over 16 gigabytes of memory or you can also use a memory card which is over 16 gigabytes of memory either one you want to use guys then also you will need an adapter like this one right here where you can install the memory card or the usb stick you hear me so any either one will work fine for you guys and you will also need a keyboard as well doesn't matter what type of keyboard but preferably it should be one that you plugged in actually make it one that you plugged in because you're not I'm not sure if bluetooth will still be working if you have a bluetooth keyboard so get one that plugged in directly into the device all right so now we just need to download uh two softwares bazaar and then Rufo. so you come to the browser i'll put the link in the description box down below but it's Bazite. And then once you come here, you click on download. It's gonna bring you all the way down to the bottom of the page, right? So when you come in here, it says Lenovo Legion Go and Go 2 and Go S. So at the time of me doing this video, look like they officially support the Legion Go 2, right? Cause see they have Go 2 right here. Once you select that, scroll down a little bit. And here, you're gonna choose KD like SteamOS desktop. Press in that. Then when you're here, you're going to click on the first option right here, which says download Bazaar desktop. You're going to see it download around. It's going to take a little bit. So it says the size is 8.9 gigs. So that's why you need a specific amount. That's over this, right? So once you get that downloaded, then you should be good. Now you want to go to Rufus, which is right here. And you want to scroll all the way down. And you want to download the latest one, which is, should be this right here. Then you click on this and then let it download guys and so now you just gotta wait and fin till Bazaar is finished downloaded and then we get into it all right so once everything is finished downloading once you go to downloads you should be able to see it in your downloads which is rufus and Bazaar, right so now you want to connect your usb stick or your memory card so let me do that right now all right so my usb stick is connected as you can see right here it popped up now you want to open up Rufus. Double click Rufus. Yes. All right. So now that we're in here, your USB stick should be selected. See, it says right here, device. This is my USB stick. Then right here is going to say this or ISO image selected. All right. And then you want to press select. Now you're searching for Bazaar, which is this right here. Once you do that, you just want to hit start. Then you just hit OK. So the first option, hit OK. Then if you get this message right here, just say yes. And it's giving you a warning. Anything on this device will be destroyed, right? Hit OK. Then it's going to do its thing and prepare and write everything to the memory stick. All right. So once it's done, you'll see it says ready. So all you got to do now, you can close it out, guys. Close this out. Then we're going to try and partition the disk. Because we've got to make space for Bazaar and also Windows, right? So you want to come in here and you want to type partition. All right. So once you're here, we're going to partition this this right here because this is the this for the system itself so it all depends on what you want to do if you want to make it half depends on how much you want to give to what system if you want to give some more to Bazaar, if you want to give more to windows it's up to you so once you come here you would right click you would shrink volume so it depends on how much you want to give to each os so this is what you're going to change right here this volume right here and it's showing you in, me in megabytes so you can do the math yourself if you want to give half divide this by two and then that's how you do it the top one is a full amount for your system which is 97 and it's shown in megabytes so that should add up to um 951 or one terabyte and this is i think this is what you have left because i have some games on my system already so it takes a little bit of space all right so as i said before it depends on how much you want to give to each uh os but um i'm not gonna do half i'm gonna do two three seven five nine nine so that should be around like 200, I guess around there to Bazite. So now let me shrink it down 
the my mask should be my math should be good. So let's hit shrink and see what happens, guys. All right, so there you go. So now you see I got 232 allocated space that's not being taken by anything. And then my windows got 719. All right, so all depends on how you want to do it, guys. If you want to do a half, then you can just divide that whole number by two, and then you should be good from there. All right, so now that we got everything done in Windows, we could close this out and turn the device on because we got to get it, get into the boot up menu BIOS system, right? So close this out, turn the device off. We're going to hold the power button and the volume button up together. Let go the power button. All right, so now that we're in, in the boot up menu right now. All right, so now you go to the BIOS setup. And here, you then you go to more settings. Then you gotta go to boot. Actually, you go to security. And you're looking for secure boot. Right here. So you wanna disable secure boot. I'm gonna click on this, put on disable. And also, let's go to, to display settings real quick. And leave this on auto for now. This is the VRAM, so leave this on auto for now, guys. And then we could exit and save changes. So you hit exit save changes or it could also hit f10 right in my case i have a keyboard so i'll just press f10 yep and then you hit yes so now you want to turn the device off again and then you want to get back into the boot menu so turn this off all right so again you're going to hold volume up and power button at the same time then release the power button release the power button Right, so now we're going into boot menu, right? So in here you should see a USB stick, which is this right here. You click on that, it's gonna bring you right here. All right, so now when you're here, once you click on the first option that says install by Bazite, not sure what happened. So once you click on it and select it, it should start installing guys. So I think I pressed it already so it'll be the top option all right so now that we're in here just you gotta choose whatever language you have so if you want to do it in english go with english continue so the first you might not have seen it properly but on the option if you go up and down with the keyboard you'll see an option that says bazaar on top so that's the option you want to choose not the one below it so once you click on that then you'll get right in here guys and then it will do the process that you just saw with all the coding and then you'll get into the settings right here all right so before this screen you'll see an option that says user creation it should be on the right side over here once you click on that that's how you get to here my camera stopped recording at that point so once you click on user creation you come in here and then you want to enter your name whatever you want to call your, your system right so you put your name you want to make a password and also the username you want to make a username as well so you want to make sure you make a password you're going to remember guys so once you get username and password up and running you want to hit done all right so now when you're back at this screen you want to come right here press on this it's going to bring you here then you got to select the drive where you want to install bazaar on right this is your memory stick right here the one that i plugged in so you want to put it on your main drive which is right here then you want to see storage configuration. You want to leave that on auto. So that I will automatically choose the empty disk to install Bazaar on. Once everything is done in here, you don't got to do anything else. You just hit done. And then you click begin installation. Then it's going to install Bazaar on the empty partition that you made. Just let us let us do this thing real quick. And then you should be good after that, guys. All right. So once it's done, you will see reboot right here, right? It will take a little bit to install Bazaar on your system. So give it a minute, be patient, and then you should be good. So once you finish, just hit reboot. All right, you could also remove the thumb drive now or your memory stick, whichever you're using. You can remove that. All right, so now that you're in here, if your system hang on the screen after reboot, you just gotta restart your system, go into the boot up menu again, and then you're gonna choose by that. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about in a minute. But now you get to this screen right here. You just gotta choose the first option, continue to boot, 
All right, enter on the keyboard and then you will see right here doing his process right now. This should be the only time you actually get this in your system after you first install and after that you shouldn't be having this issue again. Once you switch operating system and go back to Bazaar, you shouldn't get that anymore. So you should just be able to go right into Bazaar, right into your system on restart or on reboot. So but the first initial time you're doing it, you gotta do it like that, guys. All right, so once it's done, finish it, it's preparation. So now you're here, just gotta choose your language. All right, then you gotta choose your time zone. Then just gotta connect to Wi-Fi. All right, so once you're connected, let's hit A. And just doing the initial setup, guys. I remember Baza is just like Steam. So you just gotta log into your Steam account. It's gonna show you the regular, degular Steam stuff, right? So just like Steam, guys, everything is working fine. Wi-Fi is working. If I go in here real quick, so go down to settings, then the system. We check for updates. If you go to storage, you see the amount of um, storage you have right here. So showing the one terabyte free, that's the whole disk. Then I got 212 allocated just for Baza. It was two something, but the software took up a little bit. It's still 31 gigabytes I allocated towards this and 212 that I have available. Um, just like SteamOS guys, similar and everything. Let me go back. Let's see what happens if I press this button. Nothing right now. Probably got to remap a button. And nothing happened with this button. So I'll get into more details on how to like remap buttons and stuff like that. And we'll see if it's possible. So none of these buttons do any of this button. Open up that menu right here. Let's see what this does. This does nothing. Let's see what this does. This open the side menu right here as well. This is where all you got all your settings. All right, so there is some stuff in here. Simple Decker TDP, you can do that too, but if you double click, if you press it once, you get this menu. If you double click it, you should get this menu right here. And this way you could control your TDP, guys. You could do custom, performance, quiet. You could mess with your curve, custom fan curve. Oh, RBG lights are in here as well. Let's see if it actually works. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it does work. All right, cool. Yep. Then let's go down. Then you got emulation mode, the controller motion device. So that's for the gyro, uh, touchpad, emulation. And then if you go down, disable touchscreen and disable touchscreen gestures. All right, that's basically in here. So at least we know that we control our TDP from in here as well. We don't have to download Simple Deck TDP. And as I said, I get more in depth with the software. If there's anything we could install to make it better. I'll make a separate video on that guys to so keep that in mind. Let's exit out. Oh, this is bring me inside the menu menu. All right, let's go back. Press that once. Remember if you press it two times, it brings up this menu. All right. So now let's shut the device off and then I'll show you how to switch to Windows and back to and back to Baza if you want, if you want to jump between um, OS. All right, so with your device off, same thing as before, hold the power button and volume up. Let it go of the power button. All right, so now you want to go to the boot setup in here. So this is where you're going to choose which one you want to boot into automatically when you turn your device on right so you see you got fedora which is steam and then you got windows system right so if you want to switch between either one you could just put this up like that and then now you got windows if you want to switch between fedora which is bazite you could do like that all right so let's say if i put windows on first so I put windows up top and you hit exit and then you hit save and exit and then your system will reboot. So reboot and then it should reboot into Windows guys. All right, here we go in Windows. Let's go to unlock it. And now we're back into Windows. At first when I came back in, my pin wasn't working. So I had to, for some reason, they're telling me I had to reset my pin. So you, you probably have to do that as well. But once I did that, I got back in and everything is how I left it before. Nothing changed. Everything is here, all my games are here. 
didn't lose any of my data in Windows on the Windows side. So everything is good, guys. So let's hop into Steam OS so you guys can see what I have in here. All right, and that's basically it. Before, my controllers weren't working in Steam, but they're working now. Let's restart the Steam, and then everything is back up and running, guys. Sit back. And yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah, guys, so right now I'm in Windows. I'm going to switch back to Bazite and do some testing, do some gameplay, see what's going on. I'm going to see if there's any tweaks I could find for Bazite to make it better suitable for each person depending on what you're doing right so i get into in depth and everything but yeah so that's basically for now i'm not sure if hdr is working in bazite i'll do some deep dive in that as well and then we can see what's going on and windows is working fine just gonna turn on and whatever game that support it it works fine but yeah so that's basically for now thanks for tuning in guys and remember what i would say else is wealth peace and love if you got any comments for me any type of any video ideas for me guys drop it down below if you got anything you want to say, any suggestions, drop it down below. Hit that like button if you like what I'm posting, guys. And remember what I always say, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys. Thanks for tuning in.